What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another wild day in the world of crypto. Things have been crazy today. Some of you probably woke up to being billionaires, trillionaires, millionaires, all of that sort of stuff, right? Because CoinMarketCap had a little glitch and it told a lot of people that they were rich. A glitch that made people rich, but for some reason, I was in a massive loss when I woke up. I actually thought that the whole market had tanked about 20% again. And I thought, I need to get to my computer as quickly as possible so I can buy that dip. When I got here, I noticed on every other platform other than CoinMarketCap, the prices were normal, right? I saw like a 25% dip in my biggest holdings that I had. It's gonna dollar cost average in, but I didn't get the opportunity. Anyway, today we're gonna to be talking quickly about what's going on in the markets. I know people are a little bit worried about a hearing that's happening today, but we're gonna be going through all of the news, bullish, bearish. We're gonna check out the Bitcoin chart, everything that you need to know to stay up to date with Bitcoin, crypto, all of that nonsense. If you don't know me already, my name's Connor and I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy standing in his room talking about different ways to make money online. So take everything in this video as my opinion and let me stop blabbering on and wasting your time. Let's jump straight here onto Twitter. I wanna talk about a few on-chain data analytics here quickly. Exchange net outflows posted a massive number yesterday. Coins transferred to and from exchanges resulted in a net move of 23.2 thousand Bitcoins moving off exchanges just yesterday. This has happened three times in the last two years. Each time led to a price rally shortly after. So do keep that in mind. Very interesting stuff happening when it comes to Bitcoin. Now, Willy Wu, he's a data analyst here in the world of crypto. Whether you like him or not, interesting points here. The last time the retail bought the dip this hard was at the bottom of the COVID crash. So as we see here, you can see that retail are accumulating massively here during this dump here. And then again, during this dump that we are experiencing right now. This is very interesting stuff. People are piling in. Hopefully this means we are gonna pop off upwards. I think that right now we are gonna stay a little bit choppy for a little bit longer. If we do check out the last time we had a nice little Bitcoin dip and we compare these two here. So we take this dip, boom, we wicked all the way down here. Let's check out what happened. Boom, we wicked all the way down here to the bottom of this line here. And let's check out what happened next. So for the next about three months, we went in a choppy sideways pattern. Up, down, up, down, up, down. A lot of people would have lost their money either longing here and shorting here I was simply buying the dip sometimes holding and waiting for confirmation that we're going back parabolic right this is confirmation that the bull market might go on if we go up test a nice little resistance here test it back down smash through it that is very bullish smashing through it coming down and testing it right there and then smashing off again that is a very bullish thing to happen if we see something happen like that this line here that we keep flirting with right now but what we can see here is we wick down, right? We wick down sideways, we wick down again, even lower, then we went sideways again, and then one last touch on this very bottom line of support here, and then off to the races. Three months right there. So if the same thing happens again, we could very well be in three months worth of sideways action. Sideways action resulting in one wick down. Sideways, sideways, sideways. Another little pop down. Sideways, sideways, sideways. One last test around here in March, let's say three months, and then off to the races, right? If we take this line here, Check it out here, that was the line. We did go down a little bit lower then. So if we say around about the middle of June, let's say, we could potentially go down to around 40, test that psychological level of 40, then bounce off it. People think we're gonna get bullish, they get liquidated again. We come down sideways, sideways, sideways. One more test of this same line, you can see, it tested right here exactly the last, the, exactly the very first wick down, tested, and then off to the races, so around March time, we could still be in that $42,000 range. One last test and then off. That would be the same pattern that happened now. So do not get too bullish too quickly. That's my opinion. Don't dump all of your money into the market. Just ride it, take it slow, dollar cost average into the market, all of that sort of stuff. Well, if we do check out the old UK inflation, it has jumped to a 10 year high, 5.1%, man. It's absolutely wild. I don't know why this isn't being talked about more, but Bitcoin, 
crypto hedge against inflation. Just to prove that point, we can check out here today, December 16. Where were we in December 16 last year? We were, boom, $22,000. Today, forty. Seven thousand dollars. I think that's a little bit more than five percent. Just, just a wild, a wild guess there, but I think it is. Anyway, if we check out the greed and fear index, we're out of fear. So twenty-eight. History tells us fear, extreme fear, always nice buying opportunities. Not guaranteed, but nice buying opportunities nonetheless. Just before we jump into the whole market, as you know, on this channel, I do love to take profits. I like to preach about taking profits. That's what I do when the market's greedy. I take profits. I move them over to platforms like BlockFi. I stake them for the long term. I get returns like 4.5% on my Bitcoin, 5% on my Ethereum, 9.5% on my Tether, and the beauty of BlockFi is I can choose for them to pay me back my interest in Bitcoin so it passively dollar cost averages me into the market no matter what happens. I dollar cost average into the market passively. If you want to join to BlockFi, there's a link down there in the description. You can get up to $250 bonus when you do follow that link. You can also just search it on Google if you fancy it, but you won't get that bonus. Anyway, if we go over to the overall cryptocurrency market, we're at a reduction of 0.29%. Things are red. They were a little bit green earlier, but like I said, I think people are worried about regulation coming into the market. I'm not so worried about this because I'm here for the long run, but yes, in the short term, this could result in those pullbacks that I was talking about over on the Bitcoin chart. Just stay level-headed. Only be involved in projects that you genuinely believe in for the long run. And it doesn't matter if you get a sale, right? If the price drops 20%, 30%. Like I said, when I woke up this morning, all of my favorite coins were on sale. I totally was going to dump some more money into the market. I didn't get the opportunity, but I'm going to be in those projects for years. So what do I care if it goes down 20% today and then goes up 10% tomorrow and then down a bit, right? That's my opinion, not financial advice, but hey, let's find out some news that's happening in the market today. Coin market cap, of course, glitch sends Bitcoin wallet balances into the trillions. I don't know why it didn't for me, but some people were trillionaires for that brief moment. Solana Ventures launches a $150 fund for crypto games. Huge stuff. Right now, Solana can't actually manage game launches, right? Just two days ago, Soul Chicks launched on Solana. It absolutely crashed the ecosystem again. They need to sort that out. But this is the kind of thing that I'm looking for for opportunities in the market. I think that Solana is just a baby, right? I don't think it's going to kill Ethereum anytime soon. I think it's a baby and babies have teething problems. And that is simply a teething problem. This leads to panic in the market. People sell off their Solana. It gives people like me the opportunity to BTFD. Again, not financial advice, just what I think is going on in the market. And one last piece of bullish information before we talk about a bit of bear news. But before we talk about a little bit of FUD, Block, formerly known as Square, will allow users to gift Bitcoin for the holidays using Cash App. I wish I had Cash App. They don't have it here, but I would love to gift someone a little bit of Bitcoin. I think that would be awesome. Now, if we just quickly talk about a little bit of FUD that's happening. Bank of England Deputy Governor warns crypto prices could fall to zero. Look at him. He's saying zero. Yeah, they could fall to zero. That's what we always say here. Obviously, there's a risk that cryptos can fall to zero. If you like to gamble on meme hype coins, they can definitely fall to zero. Bitcoin could be hacked. Bitcoin could have regulation for some reason. Everyone, retail investors, institutional investors, hedge funds, all of that sort of stuff, they just dump all of their Bitcoin instantly for some reason and then it crashes to zero. Sure, I think that's quite unlikely to happen. But do pay attention again to when these sorts of articles come out. When this FUD comes out, it's nearly always when the market is scared. The Bank of Governor Deputy is not coming out when Bitcoin's at 65K saying crypto prices can fall to zero. He's coming out and saying it when the market is down. They're either scared of Bitcoin or they're trying to accumulate on the back end, right? Where no one can see. Who knows if that's true? But that's what I think. I think there's a lot of manipulation happening in the market. Now, just to close off today's video, we got breaking news of life insurance Lemonade. I did actually invest into Lemonade really early on. I sold out of my position, but ju they just bought $1 million of Bitcoin for the balance sheet. Lovely news. Just companies getting Bitcoin on their balance sheet, I think is great, great stuff. So with all of that said, hopefully I provided you with some value today. If you did enjoy the video, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, come over and join my Discord. It's down there in the description. 
In the Discord, you can get access to the premium server. You can pay with crypto if you want to, but there you'll get access to my trade updates, my portfolios, and an awesome growing community. That's what I think is the best part of it. If you fancy it, come over and join, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.